Did you know Iskandar the Great, known to many as Alexander the Great, wasn't always called by this name? Born in the heart of Macedonia in Pella, in 356 BC, he was simply known as Alexander, the son of King Philip II. His journey from Alexander to Iskandar and eventually receiving the moniker, the Great, is as captivating as his historic conquests. So before he was Iskandar the Great, he was just Alexander, son of King Philip II of Macedonia. Iskandar's journey to greatness began at an early age. Born into royalty, his destiny was shaped by the court intrigues and power struggles that surrounded him. His father, King Philip II, recognizing the potential in young Iskandar, ensured his education was in the hands of none other than the renowned philosopher Aristotle. It was under Aristotle's tutelage that Iskandar developed a keen interest in philosophy, medicine, and scientific inquiry, which would later play a significant role in his approach to leadership. However, his life took a sudden turn when his father was assassinated. The throne was left vacant and the kingdom was on the brink of chaos. Amidst the turmoil, Iskandar, then a teenager, stepped forward to claim his birthright. His ascension to the throne was not without controversy, but his charismatic leadership and strategic acumen quickly won over the hearts of his people. His early years on the throne were marked by consolidation of power and quelling internal disputes. He proved himself to be a ruler of great wisdom and courage, qualities that would serve him well in the years to come. His reign was marked by a vision for a united and prosperous kingdom, which he pursued with relentless determination. And so, at just 20 years old, Iskandar was ready to begin his conquests. His formative years had prepared him for the trials and tribulations that lay ahead, and he was ready to carve out his destiny as one of the greatest conquerors in history. Iskandar's military genius was evident from his first campaign. His audacious spirit and tactical brilliance catapulted him into a league of extraordinary conquerors. His first major victory came against the mighty Persian Empire. Outnumbered, outgunned, yet undeterred, Iskandar led his men with a strategy so ingenious it left the Persians reeling in shock and defeat. This was the first of many victories that would etch his name into the annals of history. Next, Iskandar set his sights on Egypt. The Egyptians, awestruck by his reputation and strategic might, surrendered without a fight. Iskandar showed remarkable wisdom in dealing with the Egyptians. He respected their culture, adopted their practices, and even proclaimed himself as the son of their god, Amun. This astute cultural assimilation endeared him to the Egyptians, who accepted him as their pharaoh. Iskandar's ambitions knew no bounds. From Egypt, he headed east, towards the vast lands of Asia. His campaigns across Asia are legendary, for he conquered territories that were hitherto uncharted by the Western world. The cities of Susa, Persepolis, and Bactria fell to his might, one after the other. His military tactics, blending frontal assaults with flanking maneuvers, were so effective that they remain studied in military academies today. But Iskandar's victories were not just a testament to his military prowess. He was a master diplomat, a visionary who recognized the power of cultural assimilation. He adopted local customs, respected native traditions, and even married women from the conquered lands. This not only endeared him to the locals, but also helped him forge alliances, ensuring the longevity of his empire. By the ripe age of 30, Iskandar had created one of the largest empires in history, stretching from Greece to Egypt and far into Asia. His career as a military commander remains unparalleled, a testament to his extraordinary leadership and strategic acumen. Iskandar's victories were not only due to his military prowess, but also to his ability to assimilate cultures and forge alliances. His name, his legacy, live on a reminder of the indomitable spirit of one of history's greatest conquerors. Despite his victories, Iskandar's reign was not without its challenges. His ambitious quest for global domination was not always met with approval, even within his own ranks. The mutiny among his soldiers, for instance, was a significant setback. After a decade of relentless warfare, 
his weary men yearned for the comforts of home. They had seen enough bloodshed and their loyalty began to wane. But Iskandar, driven by an insatiable desire to conquer, was unwilling to heed their pleas. Then came the failed attempt to invade India. Iskandar, the invincible, met his match in the formidable terrain and the fierce resistance of the Indian forces. The Battle of Hydaspes fought in 326 BCE marked the end of his unbroken string of victories. The encounter was a brutal one and it cost him dearly not just in terms of his men but also his beloved horse, Bucephalus. Even as he reeled from this setback, Iskandar's spirit remained unbroken. He continued his march eastward, but destiny had other plans. In Babylon, at the young age of 32, Iskandar met his end under mysterious circumstances. Was it a fever that claimed his life, or was it poison, as some historians suggest? The truth remains shrouded in the mists of time. Iskandar's sudden and untimely demise sent shockwaves through his sprawling empire. The man who had once seemed invincible was no more. His ambitious dreams of global domination lay unfulfilled and the empire he had painstakingly built stood on shaky grounds. The question of succession loomed large, threatening to plunge the empire into chaos. In the end, Iskandar's death was as enigmatic as his life. The man who had conquered vast lands and vanquished mighty foes was defeated, not by a rival king or a formidable army, but by the relentless march of time. Iskandar's untimely death left many questions unanswered, including the succession of his vast empire. His life serves as a stark reminder of the transient nature of power and the inevitability of mortality. Iskandar's conquests changed the course of history. These words not only encapsulate the magnitude of his achievements, but also the indelible mark he left on the world. Iskandar the Great, a figure of legend and law, was indeed a man whose impact resonates through the centuries. His unprecedented military successes were not merely a testament to his tactical genius, but also to his unyielding determination and charismatic leadership. His audacious ambition led him to conquer vast territories, creating one of the largest empires the world had ever seen. But Iskandar's influence extended beyond his empire's borders and his lifetime. His conquests led to the emergence of the Hellenistic period, an era that witnessed a profound cultural synthesis. Greek thought and customs melded with those of the East, creating a vibrant and unique cultural blend that enriched arts, sciences and philosophy. This fusion of cultures brought about advancements in various fields and set the stage for the rise of the Roman Empire. Moreover, Iskandar's military strategies and tactics have been studied and emulated by countless leaders throughout history. His use of speed, deception and adaptive formations in battle have become cornerstones in the study of warfare. His leadership style, which valued courage, loyalty and merit over birthright, changed the dynamics of power and governance. Beyond the battlefield and the throne, Iskandar's legend inspired countless generations. His life became the stuff of epic tales and folklore, immortalizing him as a figure of heroic proportions. His story has been retold in countless languages, his name synonymous with unprecedented power and ambition. Yet the legacy of Iskandar is complex, a blend of reverence and critique. For while his conquests brought about cultural exchange and progress, they also led to immense destruction and loss of life. His thirst for power and glory often overshadowed the costs of his ambition. Although Iskandar's life was short, his legacy as one of the greatest military tacticians and strategists endures to this day. His story, layered with ambition, power and paradox, continues to captivate and intrigue reminding us of the enduring influence one individual can wield over the course of history. But there's more to Iskandar the Great than just his military achievements. While his conquests are well documented, some intriguing aspects of his life often go unnoticed. For instance, his deep affection for his horse, Bucephalus. Iskandar's bond with Bucephalus was so profound that he named a city after his beloved steed. Then, there's his peculiar fear of cats, a phobia known as Ileophobia. 
Despite being a formidable warrior, Iskandar could be reduced to unease by the mere presence of a feline. And let's not forget his profound belief in Greek mythology. He was convinced he was the son of Zeus, the king of the Greek gods. This belief influenced his actions and decisions, shaping the course of his life and his empire. Iskandar the Great was not just a conqueror, but a man of many quirks and passions, a true testament to the complexity of human nature.